All right, artists, I'm about to show you how to make a collage style silhouette art. Um, this is really fun and you'll get the idea that magazines can be a really great um, supply for an artist to use. You can flip through these magazines and find some very interesting colors. Hopefully you cannot be distracted by the stories or the images that you see, but please just be on a mission for finding the colors that you want. You can flip through these things quickly. If you see something that is inappropriate, like somebody in their underwear or nude or something, please be an artist and just ignore it. If it's gonna cause a disruption, tear it out, throw it in the trash. Definitely don't share it with a friend. Um, make sure you're on a mission to find colors that you want. Flip through these pages quickly. Say I'm looking for orange. I'm gonna flip through here really quick and I'm only gonna stop if I see a page that has orange on it. Any other page is not, there's some really cool orange right there in that turtle. Any other page is just not useful to me. So you're going to flip through there, find um, colors that you need. You're gonna cut them out with scissors and get a collection of pieces that you can then cut into strips or circles or anything and arrange them on a piece of computer paper. We have computer paper right here in the free draw section and we have computer paper over here by the plant. Right there is computer paper. Make sure you put your name and code on the back of your paper for sure. Do that immediately. Uh, that way your artwork gets back to you. At the end of the hour, if you have something that is a little bit sticky with glue and you wanna leave it to dry over here on the drying rack, that is fine. If it's completely dry, you can put it in the big drawer for your class back there. But you're going to uh, have free choice of the type of image that you create. Um, you can have letters or numbers if you want. Um, you could do something related to a sport that you play, maybe your number maybe a logo for a team that you play for. Um, animals look really cool. Uh, maybe, a, I think a flower would look really cool. Uh, maybe some type of a character that you know how to draw. Um, and you can use your Chromebook to look at images of shapes of things that you want to draw. But I think you're gonna like this and I can't wait to see what you come up with. Okay, artists, I have a piece of white paper uh, we can use computer paper covered with strips of color found in magazine and carefully glued down. Your artwork's going to look a lot more interesting and creative if you use smaller pieces and lots of pieces. If I covered this thing in two or three pieces of magazine page, uh, it just wouldn't look like I tried very much and it wouldn't look as creative. So um, try to get at least 20 or 30 different pieces of magazine on your page. You can use skinny strips like this. You can change the angle of them, the direction of them. Um, you can use circles, triangles, um, all kinds of different shapes, but you wanna cover all of the white space um, or at least enough of the white space that you're gonna be able to cut out your shape. Now, as I'm looking for magazine pieces, and as you're looking for magazine pieces, remember these are donated magazines. It's okay to rip them and beat them, uh, tear them uh, to pieces that you need. They are simply uh, colors for you as an artist to find and use for your creativity. If I were trying to do like a patriotic theme, uh, I might flip through the magazine really quickly looking for pages that have red, white, and blue. This is a great page. I could probably get a lot of pieces off of this page. I could just rip it out of the magazine and chop it up with my scissors. I went with random colors on this one. Once I have all my colors down, I can flip it and I can draw an image that I'm going to cut out. I have pulled up on my laptop. Um, I typed in eagle silhouette and I'm looking through at images that I would like to draw. I found one right there that I would like to do. 
So I'm going to sketch that out and um, cut it out. And then I would glue it down on a solid piece of colored paper. I went with an eagle, but you guys can go with, it doesn't have to be an animal. Animals work really well. You don't want to do something simple like a basketball. Um, I chose silhouette because that shows you just the outline of things for my reference. Uh, doing lettering, I'm going to put an FMS on here. I'm going to put on backwards because when I cut this out, it's going to flip over and I'm going to make it like a sticker. So if you're not really good at lettering, but you want lettering, you can use stencils to um, create your lettering. I'm going to start this S with a rectangle and then I'm going to build it inside the rectangle so it's all this pencil work is pretty rough because I just need lines that I'm going to cut and so I don't have to worry about doing a really nice drawing here. Um, just trying to get some lines that I'm going to cut. I'm gonna go try to fancy this F up a little bit. Give it a little more unregularness. And I think I'm ready to cut. It's going to be a lot easier if you start with a bubble cut. And that's where you just kind of separate your paper into um, smaller, easier to handle pieces before you do your good cut. And I'm even going to do a bubble cut around this eagle just to have it where I'm holding a smaller piece of paper in my hand makes it a little bit easier to do my detailed cut that's a bubble cut now I'll try to uh, get in there on the lines okay I've cut out all my pieces <clears throat> with collage art artists often uh, play around with the arrangement a little bit and decide how they want the layout to go I can try looking at letters over here. Or I can try looking at it this way. We're going to switch. We want to use glue stick when we glue down the magazine colors uh, originally. But after we cut them out, we want to switch to white glue because the glue stick can evaporate and it won't give us as strong of a bond. So I think I like this arrangement. When we're using the white glue, we want to use small drops and we, we want to make our artwork look professionally done and neat and clean. So we use small drops, we smear them around so that they're not gonna leak out and make a mess on our artwork. Everything stays nice and clean. So that's like a sticker. And then I can flip it over and put a little pressure on there. Um, and that thing, that F will stay locked into place. So small drops, smear them around, make your art like a sticker. Don't let your glue come leaking out the side. That means you're uh, not being very careful with it and it's not gonna look as good. Um, <clears throat> and. Your uh, artwork can be, like I said, you can strategize with the colors you choose from a magazine or you can go random. Um, it's it's going to look really good. I think you're going to be happy with it and I hope you enjoy making it.